Yo, what's happening, folks? This is me here. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. So, uh, we're going to just find the buttons. So, hello, hello. Uh, very professional here, if uh, anybody's new. Uh, I usually play ROM hacks and whatnot. But, I love me some Zelda. And this here is the beautiful setting of Laurelin Village. Why am I in Laurelin Village? I need to get to that eventually because there's a geoglyph over there somewhere that I really need to talk about because oh I was thinking about some things why don't I know any of these posts this is lame this is freaking lame I'm not even doing it okay okay so basically what happened was uh, I want to talk about the memories in um, Breath of the Wild remember how we saw some memories and they were just like yeah 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 we did, it didn't really matter what order we saw the memories in Yippee dippy do I'm sure you know where I'm going with this but this is how Nintendo really screwed up my Tears of the Kingdom playthrough and completely ruined the story so basically you know we kind of all follow the story a bit I did some wandering around and whatnot first but that's completely irrelevant but <clears throat> you know you do your story and you end up getting here and you know it's like I was like you know what I'll see Impa I'll see what these uh, geoglyphs are all about and you know I, I I came here I saw the geoglyph and I was exposed to the very first part of the story okay so by this point I'm super invested in this story I'm like wow because we got that whole mystery surrounding fine Zelda this and that we've seen her disappear at the castle and then uh we're introduced to Raru and Sonya here. And now we know Raru from the Sky Island. We got the arm, so it's like, holy crap, what is going on here, man? <coughs> I forget what I was gonna fucking say now. <coughs> so after I got the first Dragon's Tear and saw the first part of the story, <coughs> Oh, yeah, that's going in the end. That's staying in. Sorry, guys. I decided it would be in my best interest just to explore, 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 get some shrines, do my thing, you know? This is Tears of the Kingdom, people. Like, we had Breath of the Wild. We wanted Tears of the Kingdom. We got Tears of the Kingdom. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm going to hold off on the story for a while. Glad I did. Uh, this isn't a diss on the story video. It's a, it's a diss on the delivery of the story video. In case you didn't read the goddamn title, you guys. Uh, so anyways. I go back to Laurelin Village. And I'm doing some side quests and everything like that. And I'm like, because like, there's a lot of side quests in there. Actually, that one shrine. That shrine in Laurelin Village with all the constructs. Oh my god. Ugh, don't get me started. But anyways, it was a great shrine very violent anyways after all that was said and done I killed the pirates and then there was like oh my god it's Bolson and I was like well what the hell does Bolson want well Bolson he wants some logs so I get the logs then I rebuild the house and I did all that crap I did the racing mini game and then I'm like you know what while I'm here I might as like I did all the stuff that's in the area I might as well just go to this geoglyph now, for those of you who know what that geoglyph... <laughs> if you know what that fucking geoglyph has in store for you... Now, remember, I've only ever seen the first part of the story at this point. I can't describe how absolutely devastated I was when I saw this. Not only did Sonya die, but the entire story just crumbled. Like, it just, I was like, w w what the flying fuck happened all before this? Like, the whole story, done. Fucking done. And there's absolutely no turning back. I saw what I saw. Like, how did they make this mistake? How is this possible, Nintendo? What the flying actual fuck? I'm telling you right now, somebody better have gotten fired for this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is not a like this is not a small mistake. And I understand with the open world games and everything, but this is just not. This is not. Uh, 
Like, there's gotta be somebody sitting around being like, hey, what happens if like somebody goes here and then and then and then they happen to go over here? Like nobody thought of this. Not one fucking person. I saw the credits. I beat this game, man. <laughs> All those people that like played this game and quality tested it and six years of development and all this other shit, nobody fucking sat down for like two seconds and was like, yo, what if they happen to see the one where Queen Sonya dies like almost right away and it kind of fucks the whole story up for them? You know, like what if that happens? Oh, that's not gonna happen. No fucking way. You guys are being ridiculous again. This is an open world game. We're they're gonna play it in order of events, and they're gonna see Impa, and then they're gonna go, and they're gonna go to the Forgotten Temple, and they're gonna find the order to check out the geoglyphs. Every fucking person on this planet will do that. You guys, don't you worry about a thing. Okay, so not only was that just like. A complete fucking story destroyer essentially right there like the story for me was done until I watched the Zeltic fucking video the story was completely irrelevant for me so basically for like another 400 hours I'm only invested in a collect-a-thon and that's really unfortunate and of all the things they could have done to just sort of fix this fucking problem. It, I, I don't know how somebody made this mistake. I really don't. And I hate to repeat myself in the same video. Because it just seems like I'm dragging on here. But anyways. Like, like when I got off the Great Sky Island. And everybody's telling you to go to Lookout's Landing. And you're just like. I don't want to go to Lookout's Landing. I didn't go see Impa when I got off the Great Plateau. Why the fuck would I go to Lookout's Landing? Huh? Well, I wandered around for 18 hours without a fucking paraglider, and yeah, well, that's fun. Don't do that. Don't do it. You go into some shrines, and you're like, I can't even do this. You need a paraglider to do this. Well, where the fuck is a paraglider, I was thinking to myself. Why didn't I, why don't I have a paraglider? Why didn't they give me a paraglider to jump off the fucking island? Or, at least if you jump off the island, have lookouts landing, like, psh right there have them give you a paraglider right there don't fucking send you on a bunch of fetch quests so tears of the kingdom i fucking love this game but holy shit they fucked up an open world yo uh if anybody just happened to stumble across this video and they're here to the end thank you very much for sticking around like i appreciate it a lot i do rom hacks let's plays there's all kinds of crap in my backlog Nippy's Adventure, if you've ever heard of that, uh, it's a fucking Ocarina Time ROM hack and it's a bitch. I played it. Master of Time's a lot of fun. Uh, so if you watch Master of Time, you're gonna enjoy that. Um, that's probably my favorite one. Uh, and I'm right now I'm currently doing uh, Legend of Doom, which is the original Legend of Zelda on the fucking Doom engine. Check that out as well. And psh, everybody else, which is the whole internet right now, as far as I'm concerned. Take care.